Well, well my name is uh, Bob Bray. Uh, uh, my company is Sinclair Harding. I always say that I'm the current custodian of Sinclair Harding. My background is engineering. I was 23 years working for a prestigious uh, uh, company making small gears and gearboxes. And in 1995, this opportunity of a little clock making business came along and I decided to jump ship and take on the business, which was pretty much dead at the time. But I thought it was an opportunity that would never, ever come around again. I thought if I'm going to call myself a clockmaker, we're going to make pretty much all the parts for each clock. And we achieved that probably about three or four years ago. We, we're not ashamed uh, to have embraced technology and we combine that with a lot of traditional skills. So uh, traditional techniques, which we love actually, we love doing. We love doing the handwork. We love learning how the old clockmakers used to do it. Uh, and so we, that, with a combination of the technology, enables us to produce what we feel is a clock with a bit of soul and character. So I deal with the uh, the manufacturing side. I do a little bit of the, uh, I hope with a little bit of, with the design and the development of parts, especially new parts. And I work on production methods and production planning. Pre SolidCam, we used a, a relatively simple software with some 3D elements. And we used that for probably 10 years, I'd say. And we got by to a certain degree. And we still use that software now. We still run it alongside SolidCam. We're only using SolidCam for the more complex parts and, for example, five axis or anything that requires any surfacing or the eye machining side of SolidCam. We used to design parts around the machines that we had. We used to design things where we could do a little bit of the surfacing, but not to any kind of level of detail. We didn't have the control over the tool paths and the operations like we do now. We've just got so much more control, plus we've got the five axis capabilities as well. So there are certainly parts now where we wouldn't dream of doing it before. We just didn't have the the technology to do it. And now we're in a position where we can design things like that. We can make special, complicated, kind of low quantity, decorative parts, that kind of thing. Because we're manufacturing uh, all the, like predominantly all the parts, and we're doing a lot of the hand finishing as well, it's really important that we get uh, an excellent surface finish. Solid Cam allows us to control things like step overs, lead in, leads out, wear, we can get the best quality surface finish on something where traditionally you probably wouldn't be able to get a good finish. Solid Cam allows us to do that, which means that when we do all the hand finishing, it makes it a lot easier and we can save a lot of time. The guys at Solid Cam, the support that we get is great. I can't remember how long it took us to program, uh, but we were blown away how quick it is. And I am actually really impressed with how quickly now Stuart's taking the parts that I'm giving him, the models that I'm giving him, and producing the programs. Not only the programs, but he's able to design the fixtures, and it sits inside SolidWorks, so it, it, you know, it, 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 it just all makes sense, and it, 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 I, I'm so impressed with it. The training was excellent. It was a lot. We did five days, two of us did five days, and it starts off kind of a slow, you're not really learning anything new in terms of the manufacturing side, so the kind of, the almost like the simple operations, you're getting used to how to set up a part and how you'd work on a job, that's fine. That's like any any software. The last two days kind of got a little bit more intense, so that's dealing with the five axis side and the, the profiling surfacing, the HSS, uh, which is really useful for us. But the training was was excellent, it was, it was very good. Not only did we have to learn a new software, but we had, it was our first it was our introduction to five axis machining altogether. So we had to learn the, the sort of ins and outs, the details of, of five axis, which is just something that we've not done before. Obviously we've read a lot about it and we've watched a lot about it on MTD, but um, that was a new experience on its own, as well as trying to understand the, the new software. At the very start, uh, SolidCam, to be fair, they've always been very good at communicating. If I ever need to get in touch with them, I can get in touch with them straight away. And we also had issues with the uh, with the posting at the very beginning, and it was all to do with 
it was syncing up exactly what was on the machine to what was on the PC. One of the guys from SolidCam came down, and this is like this is 100% true. Sometimes we start early, and he said, uh, and I wanted him to come in, and he came in at six o'clock. He was, he was genuinely sat here waiting for me to get to work, so he could come and sort it out before he went to work, which is just like dedication. But yeah, the support is excellent. I can call them up, and they've, they've got a three or four very knowledgeable people that I've dealt with. So we've been using SolidCam for probably nine months, nine, ten months. And at the beginning, it wasn't easy. I won't say that it was it was super easy, but I think that was a mixture of both learning a five-axis machine independently and learning the software that drives the machine. There has been a few difficulties with it, but SolidCam have always been there to sort that out, and they have sorted it out. And now we're at a point where I barely talk to SolidCam, and we're only kind of nine months in, which is a good thing, I suppose.